Alright, hello and welcome uh, to this episode of Jar Games Factorio Space Age. We are looking at the best method for unloading trains with both the, the bulk, bulk inserter and the stack inserter. Here's a quick overview of the different tests, the different unloading stations uh, design that we're going to test. And what I've done here is created a little circuit that will count the ticks that the belt is not stacked full. So in this case, it's got 32, as you can see just above my head, 32, 32, 32. All of these are full right now, fully stacked. And on this side, we have the bulk inserters. So they have eight, eight and etc. So any time that the belt will not be fully saturated, this little red light will come on for, us for that moment. And then also we will count how many ticks there are. So every tick that it's not full will send a signal through here. And you can pause the video and look at that. But also have a reset switch here. We'll have an on switch and I have a reset switch. We're also gonna count how many are going through just like the last video. But yeah, we're gonna kind of use these two measurements here of how many ticks is it unsaturated for? And then how much do we actually have for throughput here? And then I've got blue belts and, and turbo belts and then turbo belts and then blue belts. So we're gonna test both bulk inserters and stack inserters on blue belts and green belts to see what is the best design throughout the later stages of the game. So let's go. All right, so I have made sure that every one of these is fully saturated to start. So there's there's a little little bit to that, but here we go. Let's let's hit the switch and like and subscribe. Let's test it out. So as the bolts get unsaturated, there we go. Now we're seeing some of these lights flickering on and off and we're counting the ticks that it's not fully saturated. It actually looks like this one over here is fully saturated. So this is exciting actually, but that's also a blue one. So if we look at the same design over here on the green ones, this does still seem like it's the most saturated, but it is not fully saturated. And it's, to be honest, it's a little bit, a little bit sad that we cannot get a fully saturated stacked belt out of one side with the turbo belts. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit sad, but it, it is what it is on this side everything seems to be saturated actually so uh probably almost no contest here there's no test to be even had on the on the bulk inserters everything seems to be saturated except this design here now that i see this so that may be an a consideration for the future let's turn this off here turn it off and yeah, it's not counting up anymore, even though this is not fully saturated. So that's good. But let's take a look at our test results. Starting with the blue belts with the bulk inserters. Uh, let's see. So eight. Seems like it pulled 3,342 through. Most of these, I think, are going to be the exact same. Yeah, so all of these had the same amount of throughput. And... I think the eight being there is a little bit of a uh, is probably within the margin of of error. Not sure exactly why, but we'll call eight a zero. If it's zero or eight, then it's basically been fully stacked the entire time. And so, yeah, this side, there's really no difference and everything's fully stacked. So that's interesting. So that's blue belts with bulk inserters, basically all of these designs perform equally. And in that case, I would almost prefer this because it's going to be the simplest design and it's going to be the best on UPS. But if we look here, 1273. Oh, wrong. Wait, no, nothing. Okay. Uh, nothing for this one. So this, that's the, yeah, that's right. That's the only one Again, eight, I kind of consider that zero. Uh, but if we were to look at these designs here, then this is the only design that's gonna have any ticks with not fully saturated. 
and then we should see that four three five six four four five six yeah so four four five six and four four five six so again this is the only design that's not performing everything else is is performing equally i think here yeah it was it was all of them are fine and that's just because these are built these are the green belts so they're able to offload faster so the moment we've all been waiting for let's take a look at our stack inserting and uh let's let's go to blue belts first naturally and so five nine six nine nice all right uh so five nine six nine means that less ticks fully saturated 10,806 means this one was not fully saturated as much as this one. And then here, 4,600. All right, all right. So this one's performing so far the best, and this one's actually performing the worst. Let's see. Yep, that one's performing the worst. So contrary to my other video up here with these ones, um, I think with when it comes to stack inserters, and that was one of the best comments was like, hey, what about stack inserters? And also... The other comment that was really good was checking the um, the saturation of the belt. So that just goes to show that this one, I think actually now that we're looking at this, like late game, you don't want to use the side splitting old news uh, design. I think this is honestly the best design here, which is, yeah, our second design here. Like this design seems to be the best that we have. So it's still not going to fully saturate a turbo belt but we're going to get more throughput here and it's going to be saturated more than anything. So this one actually is the second best, right? 5946. So this one's second this one's second best here. This one's second best and this one is the best design. So now with turbo belts, let's see if we see the same kind of results. So 7200, is that actually less? No, that's that's more. So 7,200 ticks of non-saturated belt for this design and 4,200 ticks of non, really? 59, 46, wow. So this, this actually performs opposite. So 42, 10,000, 7,000, 11,000. So again, this design is the worst contrary to my last video uh, for unloading this is like in a more real world setting now because we have the two and we're trying to unload a train now of course we'd have chests there whatever but this is a much more real world unloading scenario and this design is the worst whereas this design is also not great and then this design also is now um, second best compared to this design which is now the best at f only 4,218 ticks. Let's see if the amount pass through. 15,332, 15,556. Wait, what? What? What is going on here? Is there a glitch in the matrix? Um, less than 32. So I do have the correct setup here. So maybe this is just compressed l less. How could it be compressed less? Well, technically speaking, if there was a small gap in the compression, you could get more throughput, but there could be less compression. So maybe we should just reset everything. Well, first we need to just burp it on just to make sure that everything starts fully saturated because there could have been like over here, there was some that were stuck with not full saturation, but then we can reset everything, including the counters. And then we can turn it on and let's just take a look at the difference between these two. Okay, so already this one, so maybe that's part of it is that it's storing less. And so there was a bit of uh, less saturation coming through right away. But right now, if we look at these two, like they're almost the same actually. So maybe that's something to consider that these, these two could be considered the same for the end and this is better with blue belts but this is better with uh well this i think these are the same i think these two designs are essentially the same here now like i said with blue belts 
this design you can even see like this design is inferior to this design here so this design though i think is the king this is the king of unloading right now i think as far as we can tell through these tests so yeah very very interesting thank you guys for the comments and uh, super happy to always look for imperial evidence for the best possible solution to our factory problem. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.